that new video from the January 6th committee today showing what the former president was unwilling to do the day after the January 6th attack. The committee showing the original script written for the former president. We've already seen some of the outtakes of that address. The president refusing to say, quote, the election is over, saying he did not want to say that. Tonight here, the new reporting and the new reveal from the committee, which lines were crossed out and what his own daughter, Ivanka Trump, told the committee. Here's Rachel Scott tonight. Today, the January 6th committee releasing new video showing just how reluctant Donald Trump was to condemn his supporters who stormed the Capitol, even after the country and the world witnessed the riot unfold on live television. The committee showing the original draft of a statement Trump recorded on January 7th, the day after the insurrection. As you can see throughout the document, there are lines crossed out, there are some um, there's some words uh, added in. Do you recognize the handwriting? It looks like my father's handwriting. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, was asked why those lines were crossed out. It looks like here that, that he crossed out, uh, that he was directing the Department of Justice to ensure all lawbreakers are prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We must send a clear message, not with mercy, but with justice. Legal consequences must be swift and firm. Do you know why? He wanted that crossed out. Uh, I don't know. He also was crossed out. I want to be very clear. You do not represent me. You do not represent our movement. Do you remember? Do you know why he crossed that language out of the statement? I don't know. Former White House officials have testified Trump had to be convinced to make any comments at all. We felt like it was important to further call for de-escalation. One of Trump's closest aides, John McEntee, testified Kushner turned to him to help push the president. He knew since I'm always with him that, hey, if he asks your opinion, you know, try to nudge this along. This will help everything cool down. So that's what I did. Was the implication that the president was in some ways reluctant to give that yeah. speech? Yeah. Okay, what do you base that on? The fact that somebody has to tell me to nudge it along. All right, Rachel Scott back live on the Hill for us again tonight. Rachel, we know the January 6th committee plans to resume hearings uh, come September, but lawmakers have made it clear even today again that they release more evidence along the way like we saw today. Uh, in the meantime, you're reporting on another major headline tonight involving all this. We know the Justice Department is pursuing its own investigation into January 6th, and you've learned that a top uh, Trump administration official has now testified before the grand jury. Yes, David, Mark Short, the former chief of staff to Vice President Mike Pence, was subpoenaed by federal prosecutors. Now we have learned he has appeared before a federal grand jury. Our cameras caught him as he was leaving the courthouse. Short is the most senior Trump official that we know of to have appeared before that federal grand jury, and it comes as the Justice Department is expanding its investigation into January 6th. Sources tell us they are focused on everything from the planning of the rally that day to how it was funded, David. Right, Rachel Scott, live on the Hill. Thank you, Rachel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.